province today is Yvonne and there's a lot of concern of course. Yeah and we are going to continue to see widespread smoke for areas into the northeastern corners for Nelson ex extending in towards Fort St. John and the big, con big concern across the region is the fire danger rating is still going to be anywhere from high to extreme so please be very diligent across these regions and it is starting to push its way across the central half of the province and even extending in towards the southern half we're seeing it anywhere between moderate to high. Now the forecast across the region the winds anywhere southwesterly will start to shift it'll be become more localized in terms of the smoke as we get in towards this evening. The long range forecast though will look for more of a reprieve with cooler temperatures and the return for some shower activity. That will likely start to kick in from Wednesday leading in towards our Thursday. But for the coming days anticipate that we'll still see the heat across the region temperatures into the low 20s and we are going to be anticipating that smoke from widespread becoming more localized. A look ahead towards tomorrow should ease off in terms of the visibility but those with respiratory issues will want to try and limit their amount of time spent outdoors and then temperatures will start to moderate but it'll likely be our Wednesday Thursday and the return for some wet weather as well all right out more coming up very shortly Jen thanks so much Yvonne for us Yvonne <laughs> Oh, we were in bed. We're in bed. We got we to gotta bank on some of the photos. Thank goodness for the photos. <laughs> and they are coming in from really all around. All around. And the key thing is, Jen, that's really important. Yes, you may not be able to see it, but take a photo and then you'll be able to capture it as well and then sort of look in that direction. But higher above, away from the city lights, that'll be the key thing this evening. And there is the opportunity to, once again, the forecast is spectacular. A great shot, this one taken from Chetwin. So thank you so much, Erin. Another great shot, this one from Bella Bella. And this was taken by Tamara, fantastic out there. Castlegar, this one taken by Kimberly. So still continue to send them in. There's lots of them. And be sure to include your location as well. A great day today. We've got plenty of sunshine in the mix. Temperatures are going to be soaring today, being one of the hottest days. So do keep that in mind. A bit of a reprieve for Mother's Day, but we'll still hang on to that sunshine. Temperature records yesterday. These are the ones that fell. Lytton getting up to 33.9. Old record set back in 2019 of 33.2. Princeton getting up to 30 degrees. Old record 1949 and even Penticton 29.7. The old record of 28.9 was set back in 1924. Today, 20 degrees. It's away from the water. We're closer to 27. Factor in that human X, it's going to feel like 29 degrees. Well above the average that typically sits at 16. And last year on this day, we bumped up to 21. Out of the airport, not quite record breaking 23 degrees on the Almanac. And that was back in 2019. The northeastern corners of the province will continue to watch that widespread smoke. It'll hopefully become more localized as we get in towards this evening. But dry conditions for the piece will continue all the way in towards our Wednesday with a bit of a reprieve on the way. Central half of the province, we're into a mix of sun and cloud. The southern half, that temperature soaring. Castlegar getting up to 30 degrees. Similar for the tops in Okanagan. Whistler today should top out closer to 26. And areas inland across the island will see the heat up to 29 degrees. Away from the water, 27, the humid X feeling like 29. A reminder, the UV index sitting at 8 or very high. Lather on the sunscreen and stay hydrated for our Mother's Day forecast. 19, away from the water up to 24. A few isolated showers or a bit of cloud cover could move in for our Sunday night, but still dry and sunny for our Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday onwards. All right, Brad, over to you. Good morning with a check on the roads and the view. Good pretty much all around the province, really. Yeah, temperature is really the big weather story today. Jen, yesterday we had some temperature records fall. I anticipate that it'll even be a touch warmer today. We'll see some more fall, a bit of a reprieve, and not nearly as hot as we get in towards our Mother's Day. Mother's Day forecast coming up in just a moment. But picture perfect out there. Great shot. This one taken from the Pan Pacific Hotel. We can see the bridge as well as the mountains and the Stanley Park seawall. Temperature records that fell yesterday, just a few to note. Lytton getting up to 33.9. Penticton also included within that, getting up to 29.7. The old record of 28.9 was set back in 1924. Merritt getting up to 29 degrees and even Dawson Creek topping out at 25.2. Plan for us today, 20 away from the water or closer to 27 degrees. Factor in the humid X, it's going to feel like 29. We're well above the average. It sits at 16. Last year on this day, we're up to 21. Out of the airport, record-wise, 23, and that was set back in 2019. That ridge will start to weaken 
it'll moderate in the coming days. We may even see the potential for a bit more cloud cover tomorrow night. Isolated showers are possible. And then as we get in towards our Wednesday, Thursday, we'll be into the low 20s for most areas. Now, the northeastern corners of the province, the Peace, Fort Nelson, the big concern. We're tracking that widespread smoke across the region. It'll become more localized this, this evening, but the long range forecast for areas near the Peace, it'll be Wednesday, Thursday with more of that reprieve on the way with cooler temperatures and the return for some showers as well. Coastal areas today were up to 13 degrees. It's sunny and warm for the southern interior. Up to 30 near Castlegar. Kamloops also included within that. It'll continue to be warm for tomorrow on Mother's Day. Inland today we're up to 29 degrees and it's away from the water. 27. Humidex feeling like 29. Our Mother's Day forecast, we've got a mainly sunny sky. Away from the water will be up to 24. A few clouds in the mix for the evening hours and then quite pleasant as we get in towards next week. Sunny and dry Tuesday, Wednesday, away from the water. 22 and up to 23 degrees. Jen, thank you so much. I think you and I are going to be tired because uh, I'd love to see them, but that is way past our bedtime. Yeah, we may be asleep, but it's okay. We've got everyone that's taking the photos. It was spectacular last night, Jen, and the opportunity once again tonight. So yeah, away from the city lights, higher elevations are great as well, but we'll start off with a few photos that were capturing the spectacular northern lights. This one taken in Port, uh, Port Moody. Thank you so much, Andreas. From Haida Gwaii, this one captured by Trent. A great shot from Chetwin. This one taken by Aaron and a spectacular shot as well, even from Queen Elizabeth Park, and this one was taken by Anderson. So thank you so much. Continue to send all those photos, and please be sure to include your location as well. The views out there this morning, a Pan Pacific Hotel showing us the mountains along the water. Temperatures are going to warm up once again today, likely even hotter than what we were anticipating yesterday, or what we saw yesterday. Even with the temperature records that fall fell yesterday, we'll see more for today. Lytton getting up to 33.9, Princeton up to 30 degrees, and areas even near Merritt getting up to 29 degrees. The old record was set back in 2013. 20 degrees away from the water will be closer to 27. Factor in that humidex, though, it's going to feel like 29 degrees. We're well above the average for this time of the year that sits at 16. And a record out of the airport, 23, was set back in 2019. Now, that ridge is going to start to weaken and moderate. We'll anticipate temperatures back into the low teens or upper 20s or low 20s, rather, I should say. And the northeastern corners of the province will be tracking a brief break on the way by Wednesday with the return for cooler temperatures and the chance for some showers as well. I've taken Kelowna will still see that heat for tomorrow pushing closer to 30 degrees and a bit of a reprieve or back into the low 20s uh, for our Monday onwards. The northeastern corners of the province for the peace though we're anticipating still seeing that widespread smoke. It'll become more localized as we get in towards this evening. A hot one for the southern interior pushing up to 30 degrees inland across the island up to 29. It's away from the water 27 and with the humidex it's going to feel like 29. Still a beautiful day for our Mother's Day mainly sunny night away from the water tomorrow up to 24 degrees. All right, Brad, over to you with the check on the roads and the we have flowers right here in studio right now. They look and smell <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. All right, uh, you are setting up quite the weekend for Mother's Day. Yeah, it's looking fantastic. Today it'll be another hot one. Not nearly as warm for Mother's Day, but still going to be a beautiful one and dry one for many areas. Here's a shot of what it looks like from the Pan Pacific Hotel. Spectacular overlooking the water, the mountains, as well as Stanley Park. Uh, temperatures yesterday, temperature records fell. A few to note. Lit in the 33.9. The old record of 33.2 was set back in 2019. Even Penticton climbing up to 29.7. Notice the old record. 19 24, we got up to 28.9 and Dawson Creek topping out at 25.2. I anticipate that we'll see temperature records falling once again. Highs today between 20, it's away from the water up to 27. Factor in that humidex though, it's going to feel like 29 degrees or above the average for this time of the year that sits at 16 and a record would be 23 and that was set back in 2019. Now this Good afternoon. It's a beautiful start to the weekend. It's hot and sunny and for our Mother's Day we'll continue to see some sunshine. I'll have more coming up in just a moment. Some spectacular photos capturing the northern lights right across the province. This one taken in Sydney last night by Melissa. Port Moody capturing the lights by Andreas. A great shot from Haida Gwaii. Another spectacular shot in Chetwin. This one taken by Aaron. Northern lights, these ones in Bella Bella. So thank you so much Tamara. And from Castlegar, the lights captured by 
Kimberly, Porto Cove, fantastic right across the board in Queen Elizabeth Park. This one taken by Anderson. So thank you so much. Continue to send them in. There is still another opportunity to capture the lights late this evening between 10 in the evening and 2 a.m. If you're out of the city lights, that's the best opportunity to view them. Pan Pacific Hotel showing us the sunshine right across the board. We had record breaking heat yesterday. Temperature records falling. Lytton included within that. 33.9, the old record of 33.2 set back in 2019. Even Penticton getting up to 29.7. The old record was set back in 1924. Merritt up to 29 degrees in Dawson Creek. Climbing up to 25.2. I anticipate that we'll still see some temperature records falling for the day today. Plan anywhere between 20 away from the water, 27. Human exit's going to feel like 29. The normal sits at 16 degrees. And a record of 23 was set back in 2019. Now this ridge is going to weaken as we get into early next week. Temperatures will moderate. We will see the return for some wet weather. It'll be much needed for the northeastern corners of the province. But we've got the fire danger rating sitting at anywhere between high to extreme. And the potential for more cloud cover and a few isolated showers will move in towards the peace but we'll be tracking that for our Wednesday Thursday. It'll still be hot and sunny for areas in towards the interior but moderating into the low 20s once again for our Monday onwards. Now the northeastern corners of the province we've got that widespread smoke it'll become more localized. The winds will pick up though areas near the peace with gusts of up to 40 kilometers per hour. White horse with a few isolated showers in the mix for tomorrow. Along the north coast we've got that cloud cover that'll move in the potential for some rain by Monday day night. Caribou and Central Interior, the heat is on with temperatures up to 20 degrees. Columbia and Kootenai, a bit more cloud cover is going to move in for both Sunday. It'll be late in the day and by Monday with a 60% chance. Thompson Okanagan could see a few isolated showers and a bit more cloud cover for tomorrow. Whistler will climb up to 22 degrees for our Mother's Day on Sunday and areas across the island. It'll be hotter, especially inland near Port Alberni. So our five-day forecast, Humidex today feeling like 29 for tomorrow, Mother's Day, between 19 and up to 24. Not nearly as warm, but we are going to see a few bit more cloud cover rolling in, chance for an isolated shower. Temperatures moderate on Monday, very pleasant Tuesday, Wednesday, sunny away from the water between 22 and 23 degrees. Jen? Thanks so much, Yvonne.